2001 on an ex Mercedes SLK 200 compressor. Automatic gearbox on this one with a metal hard top folding roof, which we will show you at the end of the video going up and down works perfectly. Body width wise, I'm going to start off the bonnet, work our way around this nice little Mercedes onto the interior, and then we'll go for a cold engine startup. Up the bonnet itself, you'll see we've got a little bit of service we're starting just underneath the grill there. Nice and straight up the bonnet, the odd little swirl mark here and there where it's been washed at all to complain about. No nasty chip stings or dents across the bonnet, nice and flat on the paint side of things. A few bird poo marks here and there. Headlights are crack free on both sides. No problems with those there. Do a little bit of a polish. Left hand side bumper corner is all nice and tidy. You can see the clips a little bit. Oh, there we go. I fixed it, so that doesn't matter. Um, a little bit of rust on the corner of the wing there where it meets the bumper, a bit of paint flake, and a little bit of crack in the rub strip there. A tiny amount of lacquer peel underneath there, but no big scuffs or scrapes. As we come across the front there, a few little stone chips here and there. But apart from that, nice and tidy. We have got a scuff on the right hand side corner on the rub strip there and just touching the wing a little bit as well. As we come round the right hand side, across the wing, nice and tidy. As you come down the lower half of the wing, we'll see a little bit of bubbling just starting underneath the paint on the wing there. All nice and tidy across the wing apart from that. Slightly heaviest touch and scratch on the top of the wing there. Nice milk alloys all the way around. To deal with the new rubber seal on the bottom of the wing there, that's a little bit perished. Across the lower half of the sill section, nice and tidy on the lower half of the sill section there. No nastiness there at all. Again, rubber seal's a little bit worn on the back edge there where it meets the wing. Drive, uh, quarter, sorry, driver's door's all nice and tidy. No big dings or dents. A few little stone chips at the back edge there. No heavy scratching around the handle. Wing where a cap and indicator's all crack free. Up onto the roof now. A few little bits of bird poo and lacquer peel marks on the roof itself. With a tiny amount of corrosion just starting at the front. I think all oh, SLKs must do that. And a little bit starting at the back there. As you come down the rear folding pillar there, we've got a little bit more corrosion underneath the paintwork. It hasn't come through yet. It hasn't broken through the paint, but it's definitely there. You can see that. No heavy scratching around the fuel filler cap. The rear arch now, I have got a bit of bubbling at the bottom half section there with something going on under the paint towards the back there. A bit more rust coming through where the heads come away as well. Onto the back bumper now. A bit of a scuff on the right-hand side rear corner. As you come across the back bumper, we're nice and tidy with a few little scratches here and there. Left hand side all nice and clear. Rear lights are crystal clear on both sides there. No cracks in there, no moisture. Lovely and tidy across the lower half of the boot as we work our way up. High level brake light again, lovely and clean and tidy on the back edge there as we come up onto the top of the boot itself. Again, a few bird poo marks here and there on the boot and a, and a slightly heavier scratch there. Again, good polish would square those away, I'd like to think. As we come down the left hand side rear arch again, we have got some cracking in the paint down that whole arch, which you can't see there. And a bit more towards the back. It always seems to be the bodywork on these. The engines are always mechanically lovely, but the bodywork does let them down a little bit. Nice and tight on the door, a few chips out the back edge there, but lovely and straight down the rest of that passenger door there. A little bit of a mark in the middle of the door there, you can just see. I think again, might polish out. Across the lower half of the sill section looks okay, but again, rubber seals are a little bit worn where the wing meets the sill and the quarter meets the sill as well. Around that front wheel arch, a bit of bubbling on the paintwork side of things on the back of the front wheel arch with a very, very small amount towards the front and another bit that we've already mentioned there. Into the interior now. In with the black leather. Lovely interior on this one. The door card itself is lovely and tidy, no rips, no tears. With the wood pack as well, all nice and tidy around there. A little bit of wear to the grab handle, but that's to be expected for the year. And the mileage there. Up that uh, driver's front seat, got a little bit of sun fade on the side, and a little bit of wear to the bolster, but again, no rips or tears through that. Just a bit of discoloration and a little bit of creasing on the bolster itself. Number half again, a little bit of creasing there, but no rips, no tears. It is right for the year in the mileage. You've got that lovely half wood steering wheel with no lack of peel at all to the wood. A little bit of cracking there on the bottom half, but there's no lack of flaking off. Really nice and tidy across the dashboard, no cracks at all. All nice and standard down there. Aftermarket head unit fitted. The original head unit is in the boot, I believe. But all nice and tidy down there. Dials are nice and clear. Easy to read. The inside of that headlining is lovely and clean and tidy as well. Into the boot now, like I say. Oh, sorry, it's not the original head unit. It's a different head unit. So I haven't got the original head unit. Sorry about that. It's a different head unit. Boot's all okay. You've got to have this up for the roof to work. Otherwise, the roof will not go down. Onto the left-hand side front, again, door card, 
nice and straight on the door card. A little bit of wear to the handle, but no major wear to the plastics at all across that door card. Passenger seat up the bolster, nice and tidy up there. With minimal wear really to the bolster on that left hand side. Dashboard's nice and tidy from the left as well. Into the engine bay now. The two litre compressor engine, nice and tidy in there. James is going to fire it into life for us. Like all these great engines, fire straight up, no hesitation from that, no knocks or bangs at all. A little bit of a squeak off the belt there, but that's all really. Nice and tidy in there. And more importantly, we've got this roof going down here. Could I have the handbrake on, I believe. Folding up as it should. No problems at all with that. No juddering from that roof mechanism. Nice and smooth in one motion there. Locking itself back down. And down comes the hatch. All nice and smooth. Locking into place. And we're also going to go back up as well. So you can see it in both motions there. James doesn't come with the car. But you know for the right price it can be arranged. Very sensibly priced this one on uh, no reserve as well. Yet to be sold with us in our next sale. Nice and smooth on the roof there, no problems at all, no hesitation from that. All in nice smooth movement. And there you have it, the 2001 on the X, Mercedes SLK, 2 litre compressor, automatic gearbox, with the nice working roof there. 